All right, so our uh, next uh, presentation will be from Elizabeth, who's going to be doing question related phenomena in Ihanzu. So Elizabeth, the floor is yours. So as Andrew already said, um, my talk now is about question related phenomena in Ihanzu. Um, at first, my original plan was uh, to look into echo questions. But uh, that didn't work out so well, because I didn't know at first that in Ihanzu you mostly had um, in WH questions, which made it um, very hard to distinguish. Um, and I just don't have enough data and expertise to really look into that. Like uh, change, changes in tone, I just can't hear it well enough or intonation emphasis. It's just, yeah, not for me. So um, I do have one question that, where I'm very sure it is an echo question, which is this wonderful example. <laughs> <laughs> and it was um, Nico's reaction to this that made me really question whether everything else I had were echo questions. Um, with the wonderful example, which Maren might uh, mention later, Iki uh, Shara Kagua Nenyu, whose finger is this? And the F question, Iki Nduni Kagwan and you, was what is this, which Nico translated is what is this belonging to who? Um, and he was somewhat confused by this, but did uh, confirm that it could be used during a very odd conversation. Um, <laughs> um, instead, well, at first I was also beating hyenas very much. I think I had about 20 sentences uh, in the end about beating a very, very poor hyena. But uh, as Andrew said, for science. <laughs> um, so I used this basic sentence, Umugenya uh, ukmiko iniki mamolanga. The boy, well, the child is beating the hyena with a stick. Um, and as I said, I had very many uh, sentences derived from that, and I just picked a few here that were inter interesting. You can simply ask Nenyu uh, Nukonekua, uh, who is beating the hyena, and to leave the object out. Um, there was also in several times an odd inversion um, when asking after the instrument. Um, the boy is doing what to the hyena using what in this case? Uh, and you actually have three different prefixes here. The Antoni, which uh, always uh, came together with the Kutenda, um, meaning something like doing what. Um, and then the Nantoni, using what? Kuimpiti, to the hyena. Um, so I had the hypothesis that you have this inversion for the instrument, which might go together with the work more closely. But um, wasn't the case, sadly. Um, I used this other sentence, umumba ukuliya ugali nampambala. Um, the boy is eating ugali with a spoon. Well, actually a seashell, but uh, used as a spoon. Um, Okay, that went down a bit more than it should have. Well, that's fine. We can keep on going. Yeah. Something didn't work up there. Uh, and I formed the sentence, Umuhumba Ukulia Nantuni Ugali, to ask after the spoon. But um, Nico said very clearly, no, that can't, that, that's wrong. It has to be Umuhumba Ukulia Ugali Nantuni uh, to ask after. Um, a spoon or muhumba ukulia ugali nintuni to ask after a second dish, like um, to go into a listing of what all the boys eating. Mm. But um, it's very efficient to ask after sentence parts uh, in Ihanzo apparently. Um, here we have uh, Nintaki as uh, the relative clause, which is fierce. And it 
can we ask after in one ten, some single word, Neoli? Um, it is also the same when there's something else after. Um, like you can ask uh, or say, don't hit the hyena, hyena, which is fierce with a stick, and it keeps the same order. Mm -hmm. Like it's still Dekakumitku and Piti Neoli Namolanga. And it's the same with uh, because it is fierce. Um, it will still just ask, ask after a why. Well, and then in the last um, two sessions, I went into these word pairs and minimal answers. Like uh, in English, you have when, then, where, there, why, because, or in German, wer, der, deshalb, deshalb, etc. But there, um, you have to be really careful what you're asking for because I think I asked people after the shortest possible answers um, to questions with <laughs> these words. And I got for uh, Ntuni, which means what? Magu, I don't know. <laughs> and for Oli, how? Uh, Odza, well, as in you can apparently just ask Oli uh, as a very short, how are you? And get good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. In the end, uh, also Weoli, what kind of person is this? And uh, yeah, Zatai just means good, uh, but it's not exactly what I was asking for, but a valid answer to the question nonetheless. I did get a few, which uh, are basically exactly what I was expecting for Oli, O, like this. And as um, Andrew mentioned, the O there does a lot. Nali, mm Pambele, -hmm. um, which means a lot of different things, can mean then, afterwards, not now. So very broad. Niki, mm -hmm. why? Get the answer, Kunzoko, which is in itself apparently a complete answer. Like if anyone asked Nico a question with why, uh, he said he very often just answered Kunzoko. Mm. Um, and the same for Kuniki, which means forward reason, he gets the same Kunzoko. Um, then a few where it's not exactly what I was looking for. Like it's a minimal answer, but not exactly a word with pair in that regard, uh, that meaning. Uh, for Inga, how many animals and things? Uh, or Anga, how many people? Uh, I got Ketunga, a, a few, or Tenya, many, which could each be modified uh, with Thai. Or very. And then it got interesting. And for where, what, and who, I got all of these. Um, apparently in Ihanzu, you can, can't just say um, this one, like um, just say you. Essentially, it's always you there. Like in German, dies da, das da, der da. Um, so for P, I got all of those answers um, with the uh, examples he gave. He gave uh, for guavas and oranges, ground nuts and people. Because of course, those are the three genders. <laughs> <laughs> three of many. Um, ah, the box is not shown. I have a box around these here. Mm -hmm which is gone now, said. Um, but of course, a person can't be an, uh, an answer to what question. Right. Uh, which is where you get into Nenyu, who. Uh, and apparently this Nenyu already implies that they're further away, not here. Because you only got Suyo or Sao. And for... Um, Oli, 
uh, I'll just use Oli for all of them. Um, you already have to choose which noun class um, the answer should be in while asking. So for Neoli, we got the ground nuts in the singular. For Neoli, the ground nuts in the plural. And for Noli, which person, uh, which is apparently here, this, uh, like, uh, unlike Nenyu, got Suyu and Sawa. Um, one other thing that might be um, relevant for Peter's talk, actually, that's not on these um, slides, was that apparently there's no distinction in Ihanzu um, between walking to something or walking towards something. Like, uh, Ria can walk to a tree or towards a tree, and there's no difference. Uh, and it's also just uh, asked after in the same way. Questions? Questions indeed, and um, I uh, I appreciate um, I appreciate this first step into our double header on questions this afternoon. Um, again, something that I thought was relatively straightforward, but actually yeah. there's a whole bunch of really interesting nuggets there. These again, these final forms I just thought were so. Um, it, it was another one of these reasons why doing the solicitation was so exciting. I think everybody who had questions, like, you know, after after doing work for so, you know, for a relatively long period of time with the language, this was the first time that I had seen these uh, forms. And um, I think the same goes with everybody else in their uh, data collection. There were things that came up that I'd just never seen before. Um, and so before I before I ask you anything, I want to I, I I want to ask Stan, have you ever seen these these forms in Yuri Hanzu data, Stan? No, these are completely new to me. Yeah, I'd never mm -hmm. seen them either. And what sort of jumped out at me is that they, they began with S. It was just it's very this is, this is not typical for demonstratives. So. No, okay, no. There, are, there are four levels of demonstratives. These, those, those, yonder, and so on. Yeah, those exactly. Known to both of us. Yeah. So this is this is new. Okay. So this is new to both of us. That's that's good. Uh, that's good to know. Um, yeah, it's a real it's a real um, surprise to see these, and I'm really going to have to pay attention to uh, whether they whether they show up elsewhere or when they show up elsewhere. Um, and what they specifically are, yeah, it's uh, it's really interesting. Um, yeah, that's the that's really the first thing that jumps up. These these forms are really are really neat. Does anybody else have any questions immediately? Yes. Um, thank you so much for your talk. Could you maybe go back to the inversion? The mm -hmm. people have inversion. Um, okay. Um, was it the only case where you observed the inversion? Or... No, I had like three different ones, although all for the same sentence, of course. Mm -hmm. Obviously, so uh, it's always the cap for hyena. The other cases were there also multiple WH questions. Uh, no, the first one I got was just asking of the stick. Okay, that's interesting because I thought it might be a phenomenon of multiple mm -hmm. WH questions, but apparently no. Interesting. Uh, on that note, uh, Andrew mentioned it might be something to do with the type of object you have. Like in this case, if you have the hyena and the other, um, the ugali, and it might be uh, because it's in one case a direct object and the other an um, oblique object, maybe something. I've never looked into those. Might yeah, might have something to do with sort of like the hierarchy. Yeah, do we have direct, indirect objects? We have oblique objects. Like, what can you do to each of these? And this might be a discussion to have with Andras, who did a little bit of this uh, last year. Yeah. Do we have any other questions or comments? Yes. Can I can we go back to this last slide with uh, with these forms? Um, so. 
so the question so if this was still in your session where you try to have like very short answers and very yes. short questions um how did it come about that you're talking about oranges or ground nuts if you're just having these very short exchanges uh, i just gave him the question of i said i think the first one was for who that we did and i asked come here if you ask a very young child mm -hmm. uh, like who, where's your mother yeah it was for where not uh, who. Uh, where is your mother and they might point and say there mm -hmm. uh, what's the answer i get okay and he said well for a person it's suyo or sawa uh, but if it's oranges it's sayo uh, and groundnuts and so forth um, and the same for what I uh, said, if you ask a very young child, you know, what do you want to eat? And you have a selection and they point and say that. And so is it possible that this is something like, um, so that you actually have some sort of noun ellipsis or some something so that it's like this one. Um, and that's where you get, um, you know, these weird things coming from. Um, because so what I was thinking, so in the in the literature on these kind of phrases, there is so that languages have like some some affix or some morpheme for here and there inside these. That's happen that happens um, in several languages. Okay. Um, so that you get like this here, this here book, this there book, uh, to actually um, have uh, like uh, distance. Um, mm -hmm. But then if I get this right, you don't have the noun here. So it's not this here book, this there book, but it could be that then this is additionally like this here book, but you get this here one or something like that. This here one. And I mean, you know, you can see the noun agreement here, mm -hmm. right? Like if you did a full series somehow with yeah. all the nouns, like I'm not surprised by like everything that's sort of like after the S, it's the S that's, that's really sort of, striking to me first of all that i'd never seen the form before but then sort of the etymological brain starts to kick in and say okay well what's that what is the s there like what is what's that morphine and, and there's no set you know that it's like similar like one the word for word. one is like ing we wow. and then the word <laughs> and then the word for like it is like it would be like oh you oh yo that s the it's only thing that i kind of thought that it might be like a uh in Swahili, you could say, who's your, who's, you know, you could say, like, where is, I don't know, like, where is the campus building? And somebody could say, see, -he. and the S is like, you're basically asking a, a, a negative, you would say, where's the campus building? And somebody point at it and say, isn't it this? But the, and the S is a marker of negative, but, but in, Ihanzu, the S, you can, it's Singa and Shanga, but it certainly hasn't been reduced in any way. And um, the questions, like, it didn't seem to me that that was kind of the way that the answer was, because I really did want to try and get the sense. Mm -hmm. So when we were doing this, I, I, I was like, is, is it like this in Swahili? And I gave him what I was thinking of. And he said, no, no, like, that's not what I'm doing here. So very interesting yeah made some kind of joke that i was not getting at all i think it was about the noun classes he was talking about he's talking about the noun classes in your um when you elicited the data where the object inside so the, the, the speaker could see them because it's a difference if i say your mother is there i can see the tree where she is or um she is there but i know she's there but i cannot see the tree directly do you remember that it was mostly things we can see, like um, the immediate environment of these people. Yes, although I think there was something for the who that surprised me. Um, I don't remember. Yeah, um, the who. I asked um, if you see some young children and um, something broke and you take one aside and ask hey who did it uh, they point and say huh? uh, this one that one whatever uh, that was then um, 
the further away answer, the there, not the here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So clearly something that we need to uh, we need to look out for and see. I mean, the beauty is that now we have some recordings and we could always play them to other people to say, well, you know, is this familiar to you? I would uh, motion that we uh, thank our speaker and uh,